Hi, I'm Rhonda from the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Library System. Today for our craft, we are going to do a foil punch. So the items that you're going to need to do this punch is you're going to need a coloring page, which I downloaded from the internet. If you have a coloring book, that will also work. You're gonna need Sharpies, a foam sheet. If you don't have a foam sheet, a towel will just do wonders also. You're gonna need your foil. I'm using heavy duty foil, but regular foil will also work. You're gonna need glue, two-sided tapes or glue dots, and something sharp to make your holes, and also an eraser or a pencil with an eraser. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my picture, and I'm gonna lay it on top of my foil. So when you do your tracing of the picture, you wanna make sure not to use something that's sharp because it will punch a hole through the paper. So I'm gonna be using the back end of a crochet needle. You're gonna trace your picture. So I traced my picture. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing my punches. So once you are done making your punches, then you can go in and color it. So I'm gonna be a little colorful just so you could get an idea. You could color it anything you want. So I'm gonna start off with my red Sharpie. And the reason I use the Sharpie is because it dries faster on the foil and it doesn't smudge. once it's colored. Now you can see that it's indented in. If you want it to puff out and have that puffy look, what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and you're just gonna flip it over and you're gonna use your eraser. And you're gonna just push down on the back and stay in between the punches. Make sure not to rub over the punches because where the foil didn't completely come out or push down far enough, you'll end up closing up the hole. So once you do that, this is your finished product. So with this, you can put a frame around it, you can use cardstock, you can use construction paper, ribbon, whatever you'd like. Just let your imagination run away with you and do as much as you can with it. One of the things that I did with this is I did a smaller version of the picture and I made a happy birthday card. So it's fun because you can do greeting cards, holiday cards, anything you would like. So that is our craft for today. Thank you for joining us and hope to see you again on our next craft and make sure to give us a thumbs up. Bye.